Have you ever wondered how certain products are made? Products like these huge chemical and agricultural storage tanks. Or how about this agricultural spray equipment? Or these packing containers? And how in the world were these portable toilets manufactured? And how about these handling containers for the food processing industry? The answer is that all of these products, including these chairs, and these trailers, and this septic tank, and these auto parts, and even this kayak and windsurfer, were all made in one single seamless casting from a remarkable and little-known manufacturing process called plastic rotational molding. Welcome to Ica, one of the oldest and experienced roto molding companies in the world. So now, let's find out how these large, seamless, almost indestructible products are made. Products such as tanks, agricultural, packaging containers, industrial, materials handling, home, office, school, recreation, toys, health and science, safety and construction, automotive, promotion and display, and special application. The art of roto molding begins here in the first stages of making a mold. 80% of Inca's molds are fabricated in their own shops, with only the most complicated designs requiring outside foundries. Starting with sheet aluminum, the metal is cut, bent, and formed to exact drawing specifications. After the mold has been formed and inspected, it is carefully welded into its finished state. Through the years, Inca has developed special mold making expertise, which allows rapid and inexpensive mold making at a fraction of the cost of traditional injection or blow mold. This allows Inca to produce prototypes for their own or their customer evaluation in a matter of days at very little cost. The most common raw materials used by Inca in its roto molding process are special formulas of polyethylene, a petroleum product. The resin is now ready to be poured into a mold. Rotational molding is actually the process of molding plastic resin by revolving the mold on two axes simultaneously in a heated environment. The heat causes the resin to melt and to coat the inner walls of the mold. As we can see, the molds have been placed on one of three large wheels. The Inca Roto Mold machine involves three such wheels, which index automatically to the loading-unloading stage, then to the heating oven, and finally to the cooling station. One of the great advantages of Roto Molding is that many products of different sizes, colors, and shapes may be molded at the same time on the same giant wheel. Once the molds have been filled with resin, the wheel is automatically indexed into the oven. The molds are now in their heating stage and will begin rotating again after the doors are closed. The proper heat of the oven and the heating time required will depend upon the type of polyethylene formula being used and the desired wall thickness of the product. At the conclusion of the heating cycle, the doors open and the wheel automatically moves to the cooling station. It should be noted that the wheel is now rotating on two axes simultaneously. The technique of setting the proper rotation is critical to the roto molding process. The special type of rotation allows the resins, as they are heated, to flow evenly to each corner and cranny of the mold. Now at the cooling station, the wheel continues its rotation and water is sprayed over the mold from overhead outlets. A combination of water and air cooling will bring the mold to handling temperature in about 20 minutes. Once the molds have been cooled, the wheel indexes to the loading-unloading stage. Removing the finished product from the mold looks easy, but it takes a great deal of experience to do it quickly. 
Another reason that the overall roto molding industry has remained small is the limited availability of efficient roto molding machinery. Inca has overcome this problem by designing and building its own technically advanced equipment. Through the years, Inca has built 29 roto machines, each with technical advances over previous models. The Inca machine you have been observing is considered large by industry standards. Located in California, its 10-foot diameter wheel and 10-foot oven allows for the molding of most products. However, in order to service the market for huge agricultural storage tanks, Inca designed and constructed a 14-foot roto machine at its Idaho manufacturing facility. This huge Inca machine is capable of molding one-piece hollow parts up to 14 feet in length. This enormous mold is used to manufacture a 1,600-gallon agricultural tank for the storage of corrosive chemicals. Made of a special formula of extra-tough polyethylene, it will provide many years of service under the most extreme conditions. As the oven door is open, the wheel moves into the giant 14-foot oven. The oven has been heated to the exact temperature required for special resin. In addition to these huge storage tanks, the Inca Idaho plant also produces a wide variety of other products. These one-piece kayaks weigh only 28 pounds, thus allowing easy transport over rough wilderness areas. They'll be finished by simply removing the thin plastic membrane, which now covers the seating area. Then a plastic seat support is added, and this indestructible kayak is ready to withstand the stresses and turbulence of whitewater rapids. Other interesting products at the Idaho plant include containers for the storage and burial of toxic waste domestic animal houses, cement dump containers, horse pack storage containers, and snowmobile sleds. Idaho also molds these portable backpack vacuum cleaners. After molding, a motor and other finishing features are added. The same mold and finishing technology is also used for portable agricultural backpack sprayers. Even though the existing 14-foot Idaho roto molding machine looks and is huge. Inca is presently constructing enormous state-of-the-art 18-foot machines for Idaho and for its first international plant in the Philippines. The specially designed oven panels, when attached together, will form one of the largest roto-molding ovens in the world. Certain products, such as these recreational vehicle storage tanks, require special fittings after they've been molded. The fittings are applied by a special technique called spin welding. The use of high RPM routers actually allows the fittings to fuse to the plastic without the need for conventional fastening devices. Other products, such as these planters, require relatively little finishing. Since all roto-molded products are one piece and hollow when they come from the mold, the simple removal of a thin plastic film which covers the intended opening is all that's required. Then, a little trimming cleaning and polishing, the product is ready for market. Another interesting finishing process is the cutting of four individual wheel well covers from a single hollow mold. The use of creative mold design makes this possible. The type of product which can be roto-molded is endless. Due to Inca's expertise in mold making, virtually any product can avail of the lightweight, durable, and cost savings advantages roto molded products. Here are a few examples of products currently in production. Chemical storage tanks, darkroom sinks, Christmas ornaments, one man speedboat, planters, animal feeders, hydraulic tanks, drum cases, kayaks, Graphic cone, portable crowd control loudspeakers, pipe fitting, butane tank storage compartment, fender molding, recreation vehicle waste and water tank, educational products, in this case, a blow up of a human vertebrae, and hoppers. 